As the world marks the International Youth Day with a theme, Intergenerational Solidarity, Creating a World for All Ages, the youths in the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, says intergenerational synergy in governance as well as mentorship is needed to see more youths' involvement in policies in the country. And inclusion in politics is one of the most important drivers of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. For peace and prosperity for people and the planet now and into the future. It is against this backdrop that the youth wing of our great party decided to convey this event with the team Intergenerational Synergy in Governance. The purpose is to have an important and practical discussion into the idea of youth participation in governance. Leadership should not be seen as an entitlement, rather it is a process that involves all stakeholders in every aspect of society. And despite the passage of the Not Too Young to Run bill in Nigeria in 2017, the Nigerian youths represent less than 10% of key governance positions. This, the youth say, is due to lack of adequate opportunities. The PDP says it believes the present, not just the future, belongs to the youth. Let me charge you youths to note that not only the future, but the present belongs to you all. It is your time and you must make good use of it. You should not be deterred but spurred by the neglect, harassment, victimization of the APC administration, which is completely averse to the welfare and development of our youth. The Nigerian system is structured not to favor the youth. That is the greatest challenge. And so the moment we realize this, the better. And then for you to succeed as a youth in the political space, then you must go an extra mile. Extra mile in the sense that you must equip yourself because um, for you to be able to navigate that system, first, you need the grace of God. And secondly, you need to equip yourself above um, what I could call the average. You need to read, you need to be exposed, you need to have information so that you gather the necessary intelligence and the knowledge to be able to overcome every barriers that you are going to be faced with. The PDP says it's ready to rebuild Nigeria before handing it over to the youths while promising to prioritize education. The most important and fundamental right of any youth, wherever, whenever, whatever, is the right to education. Therefore, I take very, very strong exception to the strike by ASU and to the inability of the government to resolve that crisis. Having said that, of course, I have made many public pronouncements of my intention to have a youth-inclusive government. This is because it is our responsibility to provide you the opportunities to acquire the training and also the experience to take over from us, your parents. Education, they say, is the key to the success of any nation. In Nigeria, university lecturers have been on strike for over five months and counting. The youths of Nigeria are hoping that the next general election will create more opportunities where the youths of Nigeria will take advantage of its numerical strength and harness its full potentials.